If you stick with me to the very end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create a profitable ClickBank affiliate marketing business from scratch and how to get started even if you have no money to invest. Stay tuned. What's going on fam, Eric Gellis here, back at it again. Penthouse Views, currently here in Miami, Florida. And we're gonna go ahead and step behind the laptop in a second. I'm gonna basically show you one of the easiest ways to get started and how anyone, right? How anyone can literally go ahead and apply this method to start getting results within their ClickBank affiliate marketing business. Now, without further ado, let's step behind the laptop. All right guys, so we are behind the laptop. If you look here, we're currently looking at clickbank.com. And how do we get started as a beginner? So many people don't know where to start, so this is one of the greatest methods um, you can start as a beginner to kind of get your feet off the, the ground, and anybody can do this. You can literally have zero dollars to your name and get results with this, right? So why don't you go ahead and log in to ClickBank. Press log in. Um, what you're gonna go ahead and do is basically go to the marketplace and once you go to the marketplace you're gonna go ahead and find an offer to promote now the big three niches that I would highly recommend is health wealth and romance right now health wealth and romance let's just say health and fitness for this example I'm in the make money online niche but for this example I'm gonna go ahead and do health wealth and romance right I mean what fitness right so health and fitness next step is finding an offer right now guys, I'm not personally endorsing any of these products. Um, I'm just giving you guys an example for this tutorial or this training. But what I would do is I would basically look through these offers. I'm gonna go ahead and check out a couple of things. Is it ethical? Is it something that I would promote or sell to my grandma or my dad or my mom or my family, right? Is it something that uh, has a converting sales material? And the way you figure that out is actually by pressing, for example, flat belly fix. If I was to go ahead and press this at the top, I'd watch the sales video, see if it's converting. And last but not least, does it have the right margins? Meaning, does it have upsells on the back end? The way you can see is you can literally go to Google and type in the name of the actual affiliate offer and figure out, um, you, you type in the name and then put funnel, or you can go ahead and go to uh, the affiliate page and they may break down the actual funnel. So with that being said, what I'm going to do, right, for, for this just example, um, I found an offer. Uh, I'm not gonna scroll down to actually find it, but it's called Yoga Burn. This is what it looks like. One yoga strategy to a fast metabolism, and then it has $37, $57. And then um, what I did is I leveraged ClickFunnels. There's gonna be a resources section down below if you're watching this on YouTube to where you guys can actually get a free trial with ClickFunnels um, to actually build out these funnels. And then what I did is I built out this landing page, right? Basically weird yoga trick that speeds up metabolism and forces your body to lose annoying extra body fat. And then where should we, we send your free report? The reason why we're sending people to this landing page is because we're gonna go ahead and actually capture these emails and once we capture these emails, uh, we're going to basically start building an, uh, an email list. And with this email list is basically people who are interested, obviously, in losing weight. So we're going to basically build an audience of people who know, like, and trust us that we're going to go ahead and be able to actually um, monetize later on. Now, this is the actual link that we're going to be promoting. However, the question is, how do we actually promote this link? How do we get extremely targeted traffic to this landing page? Um, to start building that email list. So that way, basically, what what I forgot to mention here, let's actually go through the funnel, let's see if it's uh, connected. Okay, it's not connected right now, but on, on the back end of this uh, sales funnel, we're gonna go ahead and basically have this affiliate offer, and, and basically a portion of the people will buy up front, then the second half of the people will actually buy on the back end, right? Now, how do we actually get people to this page? Now, this is the method that I'm gonna go ahead and basically teach you from start to finish, right? Now, well, what I would highly recommend is creating a niche-based uh, affiliate marketing review page, right? So, um, or YouTube review channel. And I'm gonna explain from start to finish what exactly that means, right? Now, basically, the best way, right, is if you go to the back office of ClickBank and you go to the gravity score, right, 
Um, for example, Flat Belly Fix literally has 229 gravity score. What that means is that 229 affiliates have made money with this product within the last week. Now, not only that, right? There's a lot of people who are promoting this and do not know how to actually promote affiliate products, right? All that means is that this affiliate offer is getting so many, like thousands upon thousands of impressions online. Now, what does that mean, right? If, for example, there's two types of people who actually make a, a buying decision. The first person is the type of person who, when they come across an affiliate offer, they say, okay, um, I'm impulsive. I want to go in and buy this now. There's the second type of person like myself to where I do my research. I do my due diligence. I don't just pull the trigger. I need to go ahead and see if this is legitimate or not. So the first thing that I'm going to do, there's two types of things. People are either going to go to like a blogs or YouTube videos easier for me to consume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally go ahead and go on YouTube and type in what are, what are you going to type in? I'm going to show you what I would type in. So I'll go to YouTube and I will type in flat belly fix review. Now, this is basically what's going on, right? The first person who types in flat belly fix, uh, no, the first person who just buys impulsively, those are the people, great, we're not worried about them. We're worried about that small group of people who are a little bit skeptical and they wanna see if it's legitimate before they make a purchase. So what's gonna happen is, they're literally going to go ahead and find a video Right, and if you notice, this was uh, produced uh, a month ago. This has 21 day flat belly flex review and bonus. Watch this before buying. So one month ago, this guy has a thousand views. Now guys, understand, these thousand people who view this product are not people who are just interested in weight loss or not people, these people are literally reviewing the product before they make a buying decision. So this is extremely targeted traffic. So with that being said, what you're gonna do is you're literally gonna go ahead, that small group of people who don't buy but who, who are a little bit skeptical and who wanna kinda find out whether this is legitimate products or not, you're gonna go ahead and basically steal that traffic and basically be able to promote your own offers. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain in a second, right? Now, first and foremost, if you guys wanna do research on an actual affiliate marketing review uh, channel, I'm not gonna go that much into depth, but one of my favorites, um, and the most authentic people is I Poop Cash. I know it sounds crazy, but this is an affiliate marketing review, affiliate marketing review channel, solely channel. So understand guys, this isn't about creating a YouTube channel. This is creating a channel specifically for reviews. And it's a niche based channel, right? It's I Poop Cash. And basically the niche is wealth, right? They're in the wealth niche, one of the big three. An example could be like weight loss, uh, reviews or something like that. You create some sort of things or romance reviews or whatever, right? Within a specific niche, you create a YouTube channel and then you're gonna start publishing content reviewing these products, right? Now, basically, an example, here, here's the method within its entirety, right? There's gonna be two types of reviews you're gonna be doing, right? Now, the first thing that I wanna go ahead and let you know is that you want to be transparent, you wanna be authentic because if you do not follow those exact steps, People are not gonna go out and buy your affiliate products, right? So the more honest you are and the more trust you build to that person who comes across your YouTube content, the more likely they're going to be willing to actually buy the product you're promoting. So option number one is selling, or excuse me, option number one is creating a review. For example, let's just say I did my due diligence on flat belly fit, fix, and I decided after doing my due diligence, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little uh, like preview of how to do that. Let's just say I, I checked out Flat Belly Fix. Once I've ch checked out Flat Belly Fix, um, I thought it was an eight out of 10. I'm literally just gonna go ahead and create a review, whether it's just my face or whether it's actually going through the actual product. And I'm basically gonna go to review it. I'm gonna say why it's an eight and why I believe so. And basically let people know, look, before you make a buying decision, watch this video to, till its entirety. They go through the um, through the content and then you redirect them to another product, right? Second is, um, the second part is, okay, the second part is if you do not um, recommend that product, right? If you don't recommend that product, you can also create a review and make sure that you're, 
you're authentic and you're not lying. Don't just create negative reviews like a lot of people do out there just to get traffic to your affiliate offers, right? It's gonna come back and it's gonna bite you in the butt. So create reviews around products that, um, or excuse me, create, if it's a negative review, if you think it's poor and it's trash, right? You're helping people by getting them to avoid it, right? But still, because these people know, like, and trust you, that's when you're gonna go ahead and promote your own affiliate link, right? So option one is you actually like it. So for example, let's just say I, I do a review on Flat Belly Fix. Again, I'm not endorsing this product. I'm gonna go ahead and do my due diligence, see if I like it, and I'll show you guys in a second how, how to actually do your research, but I'm gonna go ahead and best, basically press promote. They're gonna go ahead and give me an affiliate link. I'm gonna generate a hop link. And then what I can do is to make this a little bit prettier, I can go to bit.ly.com and I can go ahead and create a bit.ly link, post it right here, create that bit.ly link, boom. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically copy this link. I'm gonna put that link in my description of my video. So what I'm gonna do, if I honestly truly believe that this is a great product that can help people, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create an honest review. I'm gonna tell people why I believe this is the way I feel about this product. And then what I'm going to do is say, listen, now that you uh, have gained the knowledge to be able to make an educated decision, if you guys want to go ahead and actually support me because I decided to actually uh, take the time aside to actually create this video for you, right? You can go ahead and buy it through my affiliate link. Yes, I get compensated, but whether you guys buy it through the website or through my affiliate link, you guys don't pay anything extra. It's just supporting me and my channel for helping you guys out and it'll allow me to continue to create these honest, uh, true reviews, right? And then you go ahead and give them a call to action. You say click the button, or excuse me, click the link in the description, first thing in the description. You guys can get access to this product. It's gonna change your life, or it's gonna help you guys out, blah, 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 right? So, positive review. You're actually gonna promote the affiliate product that you just made a review on. Second option, if you do your due diligence, you don't wanna recommend this type of product to people, um, I'm not gonna go ahead and actually bash any of these products. I don't know which one is good, which one is bad. The next step would literally just be, um, if you don't like this product, you say, look, um, I did my due diligence on it. Here's the facts. And unfortunately, this is my honest opinion. Whether you guys wanna move forward or not with it, feel free. But this is why I don't believe you should not take this. This isn't biased. I do positive review do reviews, I do negative reviews. This is why I, this is a negative review. This is wrong with it, this is wrong with it. This is, these people aren't ethical. These people are just after money, blah, 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 blah. Then once you give them an honest review, at the end, you're gonna go ahead and say, however, obviously you watched to the end of this video because you're interested in weight loss products, or you're interested in making money online products, or you're interested in romance products. You're obviously looking for this specific solution to solve this problem. Now, even though this product isn't going to be able to do it for you that you've been searching for, I actually have uh, an option for you. Check this out. Click the link in the description to get access to my number one recommended make money online product. My number one recommended weight loss product. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna go ahead and send them to my landing page that I created. I'm gonna capture that lead. They're gonna get access to my affiliate offer on the back end of my funnel. I'm gonna be able to email market to them. But these people are going to be buyers. These people were looking for this specific solution before they decided to actually search for your product, right? So what um, what I decided to do, right, is basically just give my honest opinion. Um, and after I gave my honest opinion and I didn't like it, I said, but if you guys want a solution, check this out. And then I recommended them to my affiliate products, right? Now, how do you guys do your due diligence, right? There's two ways you guys can actually create reviews on these products. The best way, right, is actually just buying the freaking product. Buy the product. Go through it yourself, see if you like it, and that's why I poop cash, why I like him the best, because he doesn't just make up reviews, he actually buys the products, reviews them, and if he likes the product, he'll go ahead and um, keep it, and then actually promote it as an affiliate. If he doesn't like the product, he'll tell you to stay away. If you notice, he says 100% avoid, five out of 10 stars, four out of 10 stars, whatever, right? Now, with that being said, what are the best practices when it comes to actually creating these reviews, right? I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a couple of tips, right? So I'm gonna go to my channel and I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys some reviews that I created. So basically, 
Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you legendary marketer. So I created a review, right? Six months ago, and I'm ranked number one for the keyword of this actual product, right? So number one is a thumbnail. Why I left legendary marketer, why I left legendary marketer review. So what you want to do is you want to have the company's name and then you want to have review. You want to have that in your title. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and actually show you guys this, right? So why I left legendary marketer review, right? So this is obviously, I actually do say positive things about this company, but I also let them know, listen, this is why I left. This is why I believe you should not continue to promote or endorse this product or avoid this product. If you're interested in it, right? I just want to help people. So I just gave my honest review 20,000 views, right? Next is why I left legendary marketer. You want to have the actual title in your you want your title or the keyword that you're trying to rank your youtube video for for example the keyword that i was trying to rank for was legendary market review so an example the keyword that you're trying to rank for is flat belly fix review or the red tea detox review or lean belly breakthrough review you're trying to rank for that specific keyword so you want to make sure that that keyword is in your title. You wanna make sure that keyword is the first line of your description. You wanna make sure that keyword is in your actual tags, right? So legendary marketer reviews, legendary marketer training, legendary marketer review, um, legendary marketer products, right? So different tags that are related to your actual keyword that you're trying to rank your video for. Now, why is it important to actually rank for these specific keywords? Because when people type in, if you notice, I typed in legendary marketer, and my video came up. So, um, and then best practices, as I stated before, well, one more thing to actually rank your video is I like to have a description explaining in my actual description uh, of what the video is about and you wanna make sure to actually have more keywords. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and be very uh, straightforward with you guys. First and foremost, um, just to show you guys that I'm not lying, right? Here's my actual review. It's a negative review. Um, I'm not bashing the company. I'm just giving my honest opinion. And then in the description, right, my new book, click here. Once they click there, they get access to my landing page, right? Best practice. I'm literally practicing what I'm preaching. I'm not telling you to do something that I'm not doing. Um, so they click my link in my description. I have a call to action at the end of my video. Boom. 20,000 views. I'm taking all those people who are interested in affiliate marketing and searching for this product because of my transparency and my authenticity and me recommending another product, right? They're willing to buy my stuff on the back end. Because of this video, I've made thousands of dollars selling other products, right? I just want you guys to know that. So this stuff is powerful. This is real. Um, and if you notice, right, we have, we have comments and the comments are good. Always appreciate the raw honesty. Keep us posted on your next venture, right? So I have positive comments. Now, with that being said, um, how to actually create a thumbnail really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to create a thumbnail. So I use something called Canva. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a design. And then I'm going to go ahead and, or actually to, for time's sake guys, I don't wanna waste your time. Um, but uh, what I would do, if you notice guys, I create all my thumbnails in Canva. Go literally on YouTube and type in how to create a YouTube video or excuse me how to create a youtube thumbnail on canva it'll teach you guys how to do it so you want to make sure that your keywords actually or the company logo is in your thumbnail and you want to make sure it stands out from everybody else right so those are the best practices to actually rank your videos so that way when people search for example legendary marketer review i might not be number one but i'm number two right so for legendary marketer review I'm ranked number two. There's a lot of traffic, guys. Obviously, I have 20,000 views. There's a lot of people searching for this keyword. That's the power of ranking for these keywords with these reviews and refiltering or refocusing that traffic to your affiliate offers. I just showed you guys my links in my description. I made thousands of dollars off of this one video. This video took me 12 minutes. Look, if you guys actually want to watch that video, feel free. Um, I may even uh, leave it in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Feel free, it's a 12 minute video. I'm not even behind the actual showing the back office or anything like that. I'm literally just sitting down in front of my camera like this and explaining in 12 minutes 
what I thought about the company. It's an honest review. I redirected people to my offer and boom, I made thousands of dollars in the process from one review video. So um, just to show you guys that this actually works both ways. So um, I know this is going a little bit longer than anticipated, but let me see, uh, YouTube Creator Studio. I wanna find out if I can find a positive review I did for them when I was actually endorsing them. All right, so what I wanted to do guys is I wanted to go ahead and show you guys both sides. I wanted to show you guys the negative and also the positive. So I literally ranked for, I was ranked number one for Legendary Marketer Review and Legendary Marketer um, when I actually created a positive review for them. Now, the reason why I created a positive review is because things were working out. I was making money, money with them and I actually believed in the product so I wanted to go in and serve people and help people so I positively endorsed them. Now, this actually isn't available. I'll actually leave this link in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and, um, and get access to this link to be able to see what a positive review looks like and basically some some uh, tips for your reviews right negativity sells so even though i did a positive review the title or excuse me the thumbnail looks like this the truth about legendary marketer so it looks like i'm exposing them but all i was doing was doing a positive review and if you notice guys Basically, um, before I unpublished this, and the reason why I unpublished this is because people kept on joining this company when I didn't believe in it anymore. So I wanted to go ahead and create another review. And that, so this review has 22,000 views. The other review has over 20,000 views, right? So whether you do negative or positive reviews, if you do these best practices, your, your reviews are gonna rank and you're gonna be able to make money off of it. So just be authentic, don't lie about it. Whether you tell the truth about it and redirect people to that actual product, or whether you, or not tell the truth, whether you give a good review and redirect people to their product, or give a negative review and redirect people to a product that you're promoting, they both work, right? And here's the proof. So the truth about Legendary Marketer, what they don't tell you about Legendary Marketer review, right? So what they don't tell you about, and then my keyword, Legendary Marketer review. And then I put the truth. So that was my, that was my title. The reason why I ranked is because it looks like a negative. It looks negative. It's going to stand out, but, but, but it's going to stand out in comparison to all the other products. And then legendary market review. That's the keyword that I ranked number one for when it was up and published. If you notice, um, it's currently unlisted and that's because I don't endorse this. So I'm not just going to uh, continue to actually let that video go. It probably have over 50,000 views by now if that was the case. And then I have legendary um, marketer, I have legendary marketer reviews, legendary marketer review, legendary market products, is legendary marketer a scam, legendary marketer system overview. So these are basically the actual tags in the actual product, right? So with that being said, this is just to recap really quickly, you're gonna go ahead and find these products and I'll leave, I'll leave both of these. I'll leave the negative and the positive review in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. So that way you guys can actually see the difference comparing apples to oranges and how you guys can leverage this to redirect that targeted traffic to your own affiliate products in any niche, right? I'm in the make money online niche. That's why I created a make money online review. If you're in the weight loss niche, create a make, uh, create a weight loss review channel. If you're in romance, create a weight loss, or excuse me, romance review channel. And then what I did, um, or what you do is you find the top, the top producing products because they're going to have the most traffic. Do your research, do your due diligence. The best practices are to buy it. If you don't buy it, just do your research, look at blogs, look at YouTube videos, see if it's legitimate, give a positive or negative review, redirect that traffic to either the same products or your own product. I would say a landing page so that way you can actually start building a, a, an email list and a real business. And then those people are gonna buy your affiliate products, whatever products you're, you're promoting at that time. Rinse and repeat. Consistency is key. Maybe one video per week or one every two days. Whatever you can keep up with and whatever you can commit to, do this practice and I promise you it will work. I've made thousands upon thousands of dollars from, I've made over $10,000 from that one video. So imagine if you guys were to consistently do this how profitable this would be for your affiliate marketing business.
So with that being said, it's super simple. All you have to do is find the most popular ClickBank affiliate marketing products. You can do it in different niches, right? And people are gonna be searching them. If they're that popular, if they have a high gravity score, most likely there's a lot of affiliates behind those products. So because there's a lot of affiliates behind those products, there's a lot of people actually getting access to those products. They're seeing those products. They're wondering whether they should buy it. So what they're gonna do before they make a purchasing decision, they're gonna go ahead and search for a review. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and leverage that, create content around that for those people who do search for it instead of just doing impulse buying. And then you're gonna go ahead and get the commission by literally filtering that traffic and redirecting that traffic to your affiliate links, whether negative product review or positive uh, uh, product review, right? So that's one of the easiest traffic methods for ClickBank affiliate marketing. With that being said, if you don't know how to create sales funnels, if you don't know how to do paid traffic, if you don't know how to scale your affiliate marketing business, if you don't know how to track your numbers, right? Those are all the steps necessary that you're going to need to actually build a real skill set in affiliate marketing to eventually, let's be honest here, live your dream life. That's the reason behind you actually doing affiliate marketing in the first place. I don't know about you, it's not the most interesting thing in the world, but it is a cash cow once you do learn how to actually do this. So what I want to do is basically give you the opportunity to get access to my 10 spots in my one-on-one -on -one affiliate marketing mentorship once you go ahead and click the link down below there's either going to go ahead and be a button or a link down below that you can click to get access and apply for my mentorship now once the spots are gone they are gone don't take it personal if we don't pick you but the sooner you apply the better so that way i can literally give you the tools the resources and everything you need to feel unstuck and to finally start getting results within your online business so if you gained value from this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up like freaking smack that thumbs but thumbs up button in the freaking face and can't wait to see you guys next time as always eric ellis checking out